Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel at Design with Maha. In today's vlog, we will be looking on to how to create a simple masking technique or effect in this Adobe Animate CC software. For that, I'm going to go for this option called Create New. Under Create New, you will have many sub options as I have explained in the previous vlog. So as of now, I'm going for this option called Standard. And as for the action script, it is going to be 3.0 and I'm giving this option called Create. So this is how your backdrop is going to look like and this place is called as Stage. And below you have this option called Layer. I'm renaming it as Text. Towards my left side, you can see this Text Tool. Using this text tool, I'm just going to type this word viscom. So as of now, in today's vlog, we will be looking on to text masking. So I'm highlighting this word and towards my right side, you can see this properties option. Under properties, you will have the font size and color. However you want, you can change it accordingly. As for color, I'm going for like a neon green. So now the text is ready and as for the background it is in white right so I am just going to convert it into black. I am highlighting it and towards the right side you can see this option called stage. You can change the background whenever you want in between the animations. And now as for text layer I am going to number 30 right click and I am going for this option called insert frame or the shortcut will be F5. So we have gone for this option called just insert frame. So I'm going for new layer and as for the new layer, I'm going to rename it as mask because I'm just going to add some masking options over there. So towards my left side, you can see this tools option where we have shape tools, How, whichever shapes you want, you can take it accordingly. As of now, I'm using this oval shape and as for color, I'm going for gradient red. I'm going for this gradient red color. I'm just going to create this oval shape near my text which I have typed it in the before layer. So now I'm going for this free transform tool because I just wanted to expand my oval according to my dimensions, shape and width and height evenly. So I'm just, I'm just going for this option called free transform tool. And now As you can see, I have created this particular oval option as an shape and there is a text option below it. So now right click it and go for this option called create motion tween and make sure you are giving this particular option in the masking layer. Once you go on to this option, it will ask you whether you want to convert and create a tween. You have to give an OK button for it. Immediately you will get this highlighted blue box with this plus icon and this area will be highlighted and now let me use this animation to this timeline in 5 I am just dragging the oval towards B and simultaneously I am going to repeat the same process till M so as you can see when I drag there is a violet color dotted highlighted over there which is nothing but your masking is working perfectly fine if there is no violet color highlighted dot like this maybe in Adobe Animate CC 2022 software version your masking is wrong or maybe some kind of error would have happened over here if it is the oldest version of adobe as in the adobe flash you won't get this dotted icon so that you can check below whether the masking layer is highlighted like this as you can see i'm going for each and every time frame and i'm just dragging the oval shape towards an end so now we are done with this masking thing and now as you can see the oval is moving properly if you want you can go for the zigzag also however you want you can replace it click on to mask layer right click and there you will have an option called mask when you give one to this option called mask the entire alphabet will be disappeared and you can see this alphabets moving in the same oval pattern which you have created under this option shape so this is how your masking is going to work. You can do this for the picture format and also for the text format or also for whatever objects you are creating in this Adobe Animate CC software. 
so now we have come to end of today's vlog in the upcoming vlogs i will be teaching you about how to use adobe animate in a professional manner with all kind of sub animation option and all kind of other effect too hope you people found it interesting and educative too if so do like share and subscribe to my channel we'll meet you in a next interesting vlog with the same software until then take care